Hello students. Standard 8. In physics we are going to start a new chapter today. We know that the world around is around us we can understand this world by our different senses like touch of uh, sense of touch sense of sight or vision sense of smelling sense of taste and hearing these are the senses by which we can aware with the world so what is happening through this senses we can understand when some sounds are coming we can understand by the sense of listening the taste of the food we can detect with the sense of our taste that is in our tongue nice smelling or bad smelling we can detect with our sense of smelling by our nose and the beautiful things that we can see around that is because of the sense of vision or you can say sense of sight now among these senses the very most important one of the most important actually all the senses are important for us but this is the one of the most important senses that is the sense of vision or sense of sight because sense of sight or vision enables us to see the things around us and according to that we can do our daily work or whatever things you imagine that you cannot see stay in a room totally closed windows and doors and everything lights are off and try to find something in your room then you will feel that it is very very difficult even the thing is in front of you you won't be able to find it or maybe you will collide with the things around you with the bed with the cupboard and you can hurt yourself also so the sense of sight is the very very most important senses through it we can see the beautiful things like if you go for outing you see the beautiful mountains the valleys look outside in the morning in the evening colorful sky nice birds beautiful flowers buildings trees and so many other beautiful things around us so we can see that to say that uh, light is very very important now as i told you at night also we can see the moon stars in the sky beautiful things and the planets also now the question is that how 
is seeing made possible that how can we see the objects now you will may you will give the answer you may ask give the answer that we see we can see with our eyes yes you are true but not all absolutely true because only eyes are not necessary but there is some other things also needed to see the things because as i told you in the dark if you are close in a room electricity is gone then if you keep your eyes open or you keep your eyes close does it make a difference will you be able to see with your eyes your answer will be no it means that only eyes cannot see the things around so only the eyes is not enough to see the eye objects we can see the objects when only when the light from that object enters our eyes otherwise we won't be able to see the objects so eyes are not enough necessary but not enough it means that the light is important also now light may be emitted by that object or it can be reflected by that object in the dark room if you light a candle you will be able to see the candle why it's emitting its own light you switch on a bulb bulb is emitting its own light sun is emitting its own light but the other things like our cupboards the persons people animals walls those do not emit their own light light but what do they do the light from the other sources fall on them and they reflect that light and after reflecting if they enter our eyes then we can see that it means that the light can be emitted by that object or can be reflected by the object and then enters our eyes then we can see that objects it means that the two both the things are necessary eyes also and light that two things make possible to look the objects if eyes are not working also we can't see if light is not there also we can't see so these are the two important things by which we can see the light we can see the objects in standard 7 we learn about the reflection of light we know that generally light passes in a straight line but when a mirror or a sign is surface is in the way and a ray of light falls on that object like mirror or shiny surface 
then they can change the direction of light. It means that when the ray of light, generally, actually, one ray is not falling, but the collection of rays, few rays together, which is called beam of light. But generally, we will use that word ray for the beam of light for our convenience. So whenever we talk a ray, actually it is the beam of light. So when a ray of light falls on the mirror or a shiny surface, it throws back in another direction. And that phenomena is known as a reflection of light. So what is reflection? The mirror or any shiny surface throws back a beam of light or you can write down ray falling on it then this phenomena is known as reflection of light. Now when the reflection of light takes place it also follow some laws which are known as laws of reflection. But before that, we will understand about the phenomena of reflection from the surface of a plane mirror. And we have to get the idea about some words which are very very important in the laws of reflection. Here, I try to draw schematic diagram of this phenomena. That is the reflection of light. And try to explain you what are these different terms used in the phenomena of reflection. This is the reflecting surface or mirror. Now, when you apply the light from the torch toward the mirror, then the reflection of light takes place. And then, this type of figure can be drawn here. So we will understand the different words here. First is the ray of light which falls on the mirror is called incident ray. Here you can see the direction of the light. This direction. So the ray of light or beam of light is going towards the mirror. So this ray is called incident ray because it is falling on the mirror and the point on which the point at which incident ray falls on it is called the point of incidence so this ray is coming towards the mirror which is known as incident ray and it is falling on that point so it is known as the point of incidence now as you know that after falling on it, it throws back, means it reflects. It means that the incident ray will falling back in other direction. So here, the ray that comes back from the surface of a mirror after reflection is known as the reflected ray. So you can see that this is falling here and after that reflection takes place and after reflection the ray is going in this direction and that ray is known as the reflected ray. Now if you draw a perpendicular line here at the point of incidence exactly 
perpendicular 90 degree from the point of incidence. That line is known as the normal. A perpendicular at the point of incidence is known as normal to the reflecting surface. So this is called the normal to the reflecting surface. Now you can see that when we draw these three lines, a uh, incident ray, reflected ray and normal, the two angles are formed. You can see this is one of the angle, the other angle. So the angle between the normal and the incident ray, this side, this angle, that is known as angle of incidence. Because at that angle, the ray is incidence on that mirror. So the angle between the normal and the incident ray, which I denoted by I, that is known as angle of incidence. And the another angle made between the normal and the reflected ray. The angle between normal and the reflected ray. That is known as angle of reflection. And it is denoted by R. So this figure will show you, will give you the idea of a reflection of light. So, this is the incident ray which is falling here called point of incidence. It is reflected back. So, that is known as reflected ray and uh, perpendicular drawn from the point of incidence is known as normal to the reflected surface. And the angle between normal and incident ray is called angle of incidence and the angle between normal and reflected ray is called the angle of reflection which are denoted by I and R respectively. So that is the phenomena of the reflection. And in the next session we will learn more that what are the laws of reflection and how does it work. And so many more about the light and different type of reflections and so on. So we are going to finish the session, will be followed by PDF and any confusion write down in the comment section. Thank you very much.